How's it going, my dreamers? This is Born to Dream here with episode number one of Volt White. And, uh, yeah, this isn't the Emerald Monolock. Monolock. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel kind of stupid because I, like, when I was looking for, like, uh, well, we'll call them monologues. When I was looking for them, I typed in, like, into YouTube search, like, monotype locks. And I saw, like, nobody was doing it. Um, and I thought, like, oh, this is, like, something new, you know. Like, because what I originally wanted to do was, uh, do, like, like, uh, pick my starter. Like, you guys would pick my starter. And then I'd go through the game with whatever type the starter was. So if I picked Bagon, uh, it would be a dragon mono type uh, lock. If I pick like Pikachu, it would be electric type. You guys, like, I, I don't, I don't think I'd do much explaining. But, um, yeah, so it's actually called a mono lock. And so, uh, I'm not, uh, saying that I'm never gonna do it. But I'm just gonna push it to the side for now. Once I get more support, then I'll try it again. But, um, I also have been getting a little nostalgic for 5th gen because 5th gen is my second favorite gen behind 3rd gen. And yeah, um, I just, I like 5th gen because the storyline is amazing. I think it's the best storyline in Pokemon so far. Um, we don't know what Sun and Moon's storyline is yet. I think it's going to be, it's looking pretty nice, but I would say out of any Pokemon game right now I was gonna say including spin-offs but I think Mystery Dungeon uh, Sky is probably better it probably has a better storyline than this but um yeah I would say for the, at least the main series games 5th gen had the best storyline um so that's why I'm playing it today uh, I felt I'm feeling nostalgic about it and I want to see it again <laughs> And I also want to, you know, do a Nuzlocke and yada yada yada. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. And I actually tried uh, recording this before, but I forgot to put uh, no game break. No game break and move, so the youngster had like... The first youngster I faced had a fucking Ze Zekrom. And if you guys didn't know, Zekrom gets Dragon Rage at level 1. And I had like level 7s going up against this thing, so of course I'm not going to take it out. But anyways, hi there, welcome to a new version of Unova Blaze Black and Volt White. My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. And she sends out a Minchino. Yeah, Minchino, not Chinchino. This hack is inherited by every Pokemon currently in existence. Isn't that fabulous? Mutations to Pokemon have also been seen. A great number of Pokemon have something different about them. Pokemon might have different types, abilities, stats, or movesets. It's practically an alternate universe. The, difference don't, the differences don't end there. There's many things you may see. You may find stronger foes, different items, different evolutions. It makes for a fresh experience. That is why this hack exists. Well, that's enough for me. Could you tell me about yourself? Yes, I can. I am a boy. And my name is B2D. Your name is B2D? Yep. So your name's B2D. What a wonderful name. Well then, I'm going to introduce you to your two best friends. Oh, fuck. This young man is cheering. Yeah, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Just nobody cares about those two. B2D, the moment you chose the Pokemon that will accompany you on your journey. Your story will truly begin. During your journey, you'll meet many Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of view. I really hope you find what is important to you in all the, these travels. That's right, befriend new people and Pokemon and grow as a person. That is the most important goal on, for your journey. Don't tell me what I'm supposed to do on my journey. What the fuck? It's my journey, not yours. Let's go visit the new world of Pokemon. I can do whatever the fuck I want. I can treat people like fucking assholes the entire time I'm playing this game. If I want to. Don't tell me to be all cheery and excited. Pokemon White version.
Oh, nostalgia. BDD? I heard from Professor Juniper we can have a Pokemon. What's keeping Bianca? Hmm, what's keeping her? Am I a little late again? Sorry! Bianca? I have known for 10 years that you have no sense of time, but seriously? Today's the day we can get a Pokemon from Professor Juniper. You don't say. I know. Sorry, BDD. Sorry, Charon. So, where are the Pokemon? They were delivered to BDD's house, so BDD gets first pick. Naturally. The Pokemon are waiting for us inside the, that gift box. Okay, BDD, you go first and take a peek at the gift box. I want to meet the Pokemon right now. Well, you can wait, buddy. I'm going to go over here and play some Wii. Um, I want to play some uh, Smash Bros. Brawl. Yeah, I'm going to spend like two hours over here. Oh my gosh, I'm getting absolutely obliterated in this game because I can't play Smash for shit. I'm going to go over here and record a video. Yeah, uh, I recorded a video on Pokemon Basics, so if you guys don't know the basics of Pokemon, you can check out my video on my YouTube channel. I'm going to go over here and sleep for a little bit. Yeah. Maybe go downstairs, get some food. Aw, oh, you bitch. Alright, I'll get the fucking Pokemon. <sighs> Be sure to use the enclosed documents to check for changes. If you do not have them, get... Wow, you would plug your YouTube channel in like that. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do a vote my starter sort of thing. I'm going to use random.org, which I have on the other monitor here. Um, but we're going to see what the uh, Pokemon are first. Let's check them out. Lotad. Blutzel. And Silco. <laughs> okay. If I get Silco. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna type this shit in. I gotta do it. I'm gonna do it in the order I saw him. So it was Lotad first, right? What's soul? Honestly, if I get Silco. See what we get. Oh shit, I, I forgot to change over. There you go. <laughs> I actually got uh, Blitzel right here. So it's not Silcoon. Thank fuck. Alright, let's do this. Got it. Sorry. Okay, I'll take this Pokemon, Sharon. That one's yours. Hey, how come you get to pick out my Pokemon? Oh, never mind. I wanted this one from the start anyway. <laughs> he probably got the Silcoon. Everyone has chosen a Pokemon, so that's that. Hey, I know. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Honestly, Bianca, even though there's still weak Pokemon, you shouldn't have Pokemon battles inside a house. Don't be a worrywart. These po little ones are weak, like you said. We have to let them battle to so they'll... Get stronger and settled, BDD. Get ready for a Pokemon battle. Yeah! Do a little May thing. Yeah! Like she does in a, uh, Omega Ruby. Okay, it's not that hard to get a Pokeball in the bag. Damn it, she didn't get the. Sharon didn't get the Silcoon. I really wanted Sharon to get the Silcoon. I don't know, I felt like it would be hilarious. You have Quick Attack, not Tackle. Okay, well, this is gonna be fun. And I don't know the um, speed up button on this uh, this emulator. I don't know where it is, so I would have to look it up. But holy crap! It would help for like these kinds of battles where you just fight a fucking Silcoon. All right, let's see the experience. All right, do I get seven? Nope. Yeah, they both did their best. Okay. And my room's a complete mess. Thanks, Bianca. Wow. BDD, you're gonna be an awesome trainer someday, I can tell. No doubt. Uh. 
Bianca, would you take a look around? Well, what happened? Wow, Pokemon are amazing! So little, but so strong. I'm so glad that I get to have a Pokemon. Oh, um, sorry about your room, BDD. You are completely hopeless. Here, I'll restore your Pokemon for you. It's amazing. Okay, I missed that. Losing any energy, which is called HP. But you use some of the moves, power points, or PP, though. Okay, well, that's great. I know. How about you two battle? Yeah. <laughs> With all you know, I'm sure you can battle without turning the room into a disaster like I did. I believe you're right. It'll be no problem for me to keep the room from getting any messier. Besides, it's not fair if you two are the only ones who get to have fun battling. It's decided. You'll be my opponent in our first Pokemon battle. Let's see what you can do, my Pokemon. Let's see what your low tad can do. You'll probably spam growl, because that's what low tads do, apparently. I kind of want a low tad. That's. Oh well. I was going to say, I was going to check this thing's nature, but I don't think I'll be able to right now. Yep, here we go. This is the speed up button for me. It's a little faster, but not that much. I'm sure. I think there's something else, but I don't know what it is. Oh, there it is. I was like, because I've tried every button except for tab, but this is the speed up button. Okay, and I have to look it up, but I won't hold it for too long. No level up. Okay. I made a strange blunder in my first battle, but this feeling I have, I'm finally a trainer. But first, we better go apologize to your mother about this messed up room. Hey, you better. Oh, I better come too. Now I can't play Smash Bros. Brawl, you assholes. Oh, yeah, I can. But the TV doesn't work, so... Ugh. Well, there goes my YouTube career. Career? Hobby? I can't even sleep in my bed. What the fuck? Yo, the window should be broken, too. It should. It was a Pokemon battle. Like, I don't know. I just feel like in any Pokemon battle, like, a Pokemon would break a window at some point. It's like, it's like hitting baseballs. Like, eventually you're going to crack a window. Like, playing baseball in a uh, neighborhood, you're eventually going to crack a window. But, anyways. I'm sorry about all the trouble, ma'am. Well, um, we can clean up. Cleaning up? No worries, I'll take care of it later. Shouldn't you be on your way to meet Professor Juniper? Yes, thank you. Please excuse us. Come on, let's go. Thank... Thank... Oh, let's go thank Professor Juniper. Dumbass. I'll be waiting in front of the Pokemon Research Lab. <laughs> oh, wait. I've got to go home first. Thanks for having us over. Okay, that's great. What do you want? My, my, BDD. Pokemon battles are so lively, aren't they? I can hear the Pokemon's cries clear down here. Hmm. That sure reminded me of my first Pokemon battle. Oh, and you know, after a battle, you need to rest your Pokemon. Your Pokemon is looking great. Now, if you're going out, don't forget your bike and your phone. Says Volt White. You're going to thank the professor too, right? Better get going, honey. Okay. Yeah, so I found a speed up button. Wait, let me see how fast I go if I do this. Okay, let me see. That sounds kind of bad too. Well. Do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. No, no, a thousand times, no! <laughs> but I'm, I'm a good trainer.
who got a Pokemon and everything. I could totally go on an adventure. Huh. <sighs> oh. It's okay. It's fine. I'll be waiting for you in front of the lab, okay? Well, that was interesting. What nonsense is this? How could my daughter, who knows nothing about the world, be going on a Pokemon on a, on a journey with Pokemon? <laughs> well, I mean, that's what every kid does in Pokemon. They have no clue what the uh, world is outside their hometown, and yet they get permission to like go travel all over the world, and they have like no clue about what's going on in the world, but yet, you know, parents are okay with it. I kind of question uh, parenting in Pokemon, but okay. Okay, let's go meet the professor. Let's meet her. Okay. Hi there, I've been waiting for you young people. Young people? Who the fuck are you? Let me introduce myself again. My name is... Professor Juniper, we know your name. Shut up, smartass. Come, come, Charon. This is not a time to take things lightly. Today is a day to remember always, so it's best to behave with some formality. That being so, once again, my name is Professor Juniper, and I am researching when and how the creatures called Pokemon came into existence. Well... All you have to do is find a fucking Arceus so you can figure it out. Oh, that's unusual. You've already had a Pokemon battle. So maybe that's why. It feels as though your Pokemon have already begun to trust you. By the way, would you... Yes, I would. Um... I was thinking Electric Zebra, but fuck that. Because <laughs> every time I get an Electric type, I call it like Electric and then whatever the thing is. Whatever it looks like. So... I'm not gonna do that. Uh, okay, I have I had no clue what to call this thing, so I went on the uh, name reader site, and this like looked amazing to me. I didn't come up with this nickname. I'm just putting it out there, but uh, I couldn't think of one on my own. Uh huh. I see. Are you okay with yes? Haywire is his name. That's is such a great name. Well, the Poke Reader doesn't think so. As for why I gave all of you Pokemon, it's the, for the Pokedex, right? Shut the fuck up. I'm astonished. Nice work, Sharon. You've already studied Pokemon extensively, haven't you? Yeah, he's a fucking overachiever. Get over it. Still, let me explain everything from the beginning for everyone's sake. I don't know if I want to go through this. Yes, we know this. Uh, so maybe this, is this is my request. BDD, Charon, Bianca. You'll go on an adventure to complete the Pokedex, will you not? Nope. Here's what I need from you. What I want to hear are the courageous words of people who will blaze new paths around the world. I want you three to travel to many distant places and meet all of the Pokemon Unova region. Well, since you asked so politely. Okay. I mean, yes, Professor. Thank you very much. Because of you, I can become a Pokemon trainer. Exactly as I've always wished. All of you, thanks. You have given me the best possible answer. And we get the Pokedex. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Next, I need to teach you how to meet Pokemon. Please meet me at Route 1, okay? Okay, since the professor asked us, it's okay to go on an adventure, right? I could explore and maybe find out what I want to do in life. I think I like that. Of course, we can travel however we want while we complete the Pokedex. Well, you guys can complete the Pokedex. I'm just trying to do a fucking Nuzlocke. <laughs> hey, BDD, wait up. So much fucking talking. Oh, there you are. And what did the professor have to say? She asked you to complete the Pokedex. I can't believe it. Well, actually I can. I already knew she was going to ask. That's why I brought you three of these town maps. Take them with you. 
Okay, then. And you get a map. And you get a map. Everyone gets a map! Okay. As, your, as for your room, B to D, or what's left of it, no need for any of you to worry. I'll take care of tidying it up. Okay, B to D. Ah, uh, Pokemon, they are so cute, but they have enough power to destroy a bedroom. They really, they are really something. With Pokemon like that at your side, you'll be safe whenever you go, wherever you go, wherever you go. <laughs> I'll let your parents know. I hope that in addition to Pokemon, you'll find lots and lots of places you like in the Unova region and become wonderful adults. Have a great trip. Thanks, Mom. If I use the town map, I'll always know where I am. That's certainly helpful. Yes, it is, Sharon. Shall we head to Route 1? That professor's waiting. Let's go, let's go. BD, hurry and come to you, okay? Alright, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Let me see something real quick. Not that it matters, because I have it at fast text anyways. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're good. We are good. We are good. Oh yeah, nature. Let me get some water while I'm doing this. Oh god. Uh Sap Zipper though. Isn't that a hidden war ability? You can get Pokemon with hidden abilities. Wow. I didn't know that, but that's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Is it just for your uh, starter? Hmm. I don't know. I haven't played Bolt while White in a while. BD, it's this way. Bianca says if we're starting a journey together, she wants us all to take our first step at the same time. Really? The professor is waiting for us. And you want to do this little... Like, I don't know. <laughs> Let's all take our first step on Route 1 together. Yeah, we don't have time for this. The professor's waiting. She's taking time out of her day for us to go for... She's taking time out of her day so we can uh, learn how to catch Pokemon. I mean, she's doing us a favor. And you just want to use up all of her time. I don't think this is right. Oh, I wonder what will happen. Isn't this so exciting? Yeah, well, I think Professor Juniper looks kind of pissed, so we, we better get going here. It sure is. Come on, the professor's waiting. Yeah, I've said that like three times now, Sharon. Thanks for pointing that out. Professor Juniper, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Yeah, Bianca's a fucking bitch. I, I don't know what we're going to do about her. Now that everyone's here, I'll explain. The Pokedex's pages auto update automatically whenever you meet a Pokemon. Moreover... It sets it's set up so that you obtain even more information when you catch a Pokemon. To make this clear, I'm going to demonstrate how to catch a Pokemon. Yeah, it's a trap. She uses Minchino. Minchino, use pound. And the Patrat still lives. The Patrat catters with Leer. She's about to throw a Pokeball. Will it catch? She has 30 Pokeballs, so it probably will catch. Moment of truth. She caught the Patrat! She caught the Patrat. Oh, I didn't think she'd be able to do it, but she did it. Whew. Hold on. Fuck, that was so intense. Did you see that just now? Yeah, you caught the Patrat. Good job. Good job. Good job. Here. <laughs> Here's how it goes, step by step. First, reduce the Pokemon's HP. I I feel like I said in uh, Pokemon Glaze, like I have a little bit of a sore throat. And I guess I'm a little more energetic now that I'm sick. Usually, it's the opposite when you're sick. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, like I don't know, more energy is flowing through my body right now. <laughs> I don't know. Pokemon that still have all the energy are difficult to catch. If you get, if you can use your Pokemon's moves to make the Pokemon you want to catch fall asleep or paralyze it and to wrap this up in the best way I have a gift for you some pokeballs yeah now we have the nuzlocke has started 
Pokeballs are used for catching Pokemon and for carrying the Pokemon you catch. I'm going on ahead. I'll be waiting for you in Accumula Town. Accumula Town. She forgot to say that Pokemon jump out at you in the tall grass. Yeah, that would have been useful information. I'm heading to Accumula Town too. I think I'll go too. I'm looking forward to the next town so I can go shopping for Pokeballs. Wait a minute. Hey, listen, BDD, Charon, I thought it's something fun. No, see, here's the problem with all this. You want to do all this fun bullshit, but the professor is taking time out of her busy day to help us. But no, you just want to waste her fucking time. Do you not see the problem here, Bianca? But we need, see, Charon understands. Bianca's just like, let's do all the fun things in the world. Let's waste Professor Juniper's entire day. She could be trying to research cancer right now, but Pokemon cancer, but we just want to do all this fun bullshit. <sighs> Why don't we see who can catch the most Pokemon? I'm doing a fucking Nuzlocke. This isn't helping. Yeah, we don't care. This competition doesn't apply to us. You do not have an Oshawa. Okay. 30 minutes into the episode. We get to catch a Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, that's uh, how it goes in black and white. Can I get a potion first? Yeah. Alright, we'll catch the Pokemon. I want to keep these like 30 minutes long, so we'll catch the Pokemon and we'll end it off. Woo! Ooh, it's level four. Nice. It's kind of open to face end, but damn. Just don't like. Oh, okay. Kill wipe. Think if I use yeah, if I use quick attack, I'll take damage. It'll attack before bide. I think that's how it works. Okay, let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, you bitch. I actually really want this Caracosta, especially if it has, uh, especially if it has sturdy. That'd be very, very useful. I actually have a nickname for it, too. Ah. Come on. Cool. Got it. Nice. The pro tort proto oh the proto tor portal. Okay. Well, I feel like this is a good name. I don't know. It might be crap, but I don't care. <laughs> Caro. Whoops. That's how you spell Carolina, right? I should know this because I'm a Duke fan. some reason I thought that was wrong, but it's not. Okay. Nice. Alright, so. Uh, we might be able to see one more Pokemon. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll grind up a little bit, and we'll end the episode off right here. So. I would like to thank you guys for watching, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I uh, will go to Yakumula Town and do all your tutorial bullshit. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Keep living the dream. Goodbye.